Lucas Media. So, you know, Arch Manning, he's been a, a clearly a, a high profile uh, name. You know, his uncles are, at least Peyton Manning's a Hall of Famer. You can argue Eli, you know. I don't, well, I don't believe he's a Hall of Famer, but most people do, but whatever, right? So, Arch Manning was is from uh, Louisiana as well, and he was supposed to be considered the next talented guy. Now, I personally thought that, uh, uh, what's his name, Nico... I can't even pronounce it. I ain't even mess it up. But the the quarterback for the University of Tennessee, to me, was the better quarterback, even though Arch Manning got National Player of the Year. However, you know, they both, he go to Tennessee, Arch Manning go to Texas. He sit behind Quinn Ewers for the first year. I don't have no problem with that. And then even this year, people thought he was going, he's going, he was going to possibly transfer. Uh, but, because Quinn Ewers came back, but Arch came back and Quinn Ewers got hurt in their, uh, their past game against uh, UTSA. Well... Arch comes in the game. I mean, the man runs. I can't remember how many yards he ran. Uh, let me see if I can pull that up. All right, he went nine for twelve, two hundred twenty-three yards, four touchdowns, and also ran for fifty-three yards and a, a touchdown. So, and Arch can run. He ain't like his uncles, you know. He can actually run. Well, a lot of people are saying, is he up next? Is Quinn Ewers? Is he going up against? Is he going to take the job from Quinn Ewers? Now people are already speculating that he might be the next generational quarterback. Well, let me be honest with y'all, right? I like Arch, man. You know, salute to him. He clearly got from a football family. But it was against UTSA. It was against UTSA. And the next game, if Quinn Ewers isn't playing, is against uh, Louisiana Monroe. That's not a good for me. I need to see him go do it against Georgia. Uh, on October 19th. I need to see him do it against number 15, Oklahoma, uh, October 12th. Yeah, Georgia, they number two in the country. So, and probably should have won a natty last year. I want to see him do it against Florida. I want to see him do it against uh, Texas A&M. Because somebody went off against a lower level competition does not mean that he's the goods. Now, if he can translate that to the the, the SEC schools, you, you got me sold. If he went out there and did it against SEC schools, uh, the, the number two school in the country, Georgia, I'm sold. But I got to see it first. And I think a lot of times because we want these people to be successful, and I do too, but we got to see the tape first against top talent, you know. So before I give uh, Arch Manning the key, now he might win at, at Texas. He might. He only a, a sophomore. So you still got two more college eligible years. But we, I, but I can't, I can't just go off of a, a game against UTSA. I'm sorry, y'all, you know. But shout out to Texas and maybe my son to go to the University of Texas. So I don't have a problem with that. And he would play with Arch Manning, actually. So I don't have a problem with that. But like I said, I'm not going. I'm not sold off of UTSA against them at least. So I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. You know, my Texas fans, am I tripping? Is Arch Manning up next? Tell me what y'all think.